so we're back at work after that nice weekend doing the car shows and all that stuff so we gotta get back in the grind so today i got a video on one of my old guns that i've had for about uh 12 years now and that's my ws 400 clear gun i've had this gun and i've made the most money probably with this gun at all my guns so i had to do a video on it and show you guys uh show it to you how i use it so i've used this gun for years and years with clear and it's just beat up and old now it's still clean and sprays nice but it's missing the caps because these are like decorative when these first came out they were like plastic caps and they fall off right away and uh but what a good gun this gun is it's got the 1.3 and this is the first generation of the ws 400 like i said i got this gun about 10 to 12 years ago and now i use it for sealer and I know you guys are like, whoa, spraying that gun for sealer, huh? But your sealer is one of the most important coats of your product that's actually going to be applied to the car because if your sealer is not flat, then from there on out, your job's going to have a ripple in it from that sealer not laying down nice and flat. So to me, I really care more about my clear and my sealer than I do the base gun because with this water base, you usually can use any gun as long as you know how to handle it and don't get modeling streaks in it. So. To me, you want a good sealer gun and you want a good clear gun. So when I got that DV1, I upgraded all that to the clear and then I dropped this down to being my uh, sealer gun because I've had it for so long. It's just beat up and old, so I use it for sealer now. So I wanna show you guys how nice of a coat this sprays and like I said before, it's got the 1.3 in it. But this gun here is, is a phenomenal gun. It's, like I said, I've painted thousands of cars with this gun. So let's watch this one as I spray sealer on this job in the booth. It's just a white uh, 8624 Malibu I'm doing a big job on. And uh, I'm gonna spray the P30W on this one, the white sealer. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, so we're in the booth now and I'm gonna show you the job that we're sealing. Here it is. You gotta put a little sealer there. A little bit of sealer over here on the edges of the hood where it bumped the uh, tops of the fenders there. A new bumper and a new fender. A little bit right here on top. So that's the job in the booth guys so i wanted to show you what we're actually going to use the gun on today so now this this uh white sealer we're using it doesn't cover you know completely coverage in one coat i'm just looking for you know uh corrosion protection on the bare metal and to give it a little bit of uh fill inside some of the scratches so i'm not looking for coverage with this coat just wanted to let you guys know that but yeah, that W400, like I said, that's one of my favorite guns that I've ever had. I actually got a tattoo of it on my arm here. And it says trigger happy. And it's got the uh, gun on it right there. That's how much I liked that gun when I first got it. Because that's back when Iwata was the big hype, guys. So when that gun first came out, it was the best thing to have at the time. And I picked it up and loved it. Like I said, I've sprayed with that thing thousands and thousands of cars through the years with it. And now it's my uh, sealer gun. So let's go ahead and seal this job and uh, I'll show you how it comes out. I'm just putting on a nice coat of sealer here. I'm not told you before, this color doesn't cover very well the white. It's one of the least uh, for coverage wise on the sealers, but this uh, W400 has been a good gun. I've had it, like I said, a long time, and it's always been reliable to me. And it's got the 1.3 in it. And it is the, um, you know, Supernova. So it was definitely one of my favorite guns when I bought it. I was telling you guys, you know, those were cool, the body style on them, because they were done by Pina Farini, the guy that does the um, Ferraris, designed that gun. So... It was definitely a cool uh, make when they first did it. And I have another uh, Iwata gun that doesn't have the cool body to it like that Pina Farini style, but I like Iwata guns. Um, I've sprayed with them for years too, so 
like I said, I just like to try out different guns at different times. First, I started out a long time ago spraying with the Sadas, and I sprayed those for years. And then I got into some of the um, Iwata guns and the uh, Devilbus guns. So now I'm back on the Devilbus. So it's just basically what's easier to get my hands on at the time. I'll try those out as long as they work well. I'll just try out a different, you know, maker at the time. So I'm not biased to any gun. I get a lot of guys saying, oh, I like this gun. I like this paint, you know. Listen, I've sprayed with all the paints through the years and all the guns through the years. And they all have good things about them and they all have bad things about them. But it's not really the products. It's the guy using them. So, um, you know, like I say, I'm not biased to any product or any gun i just at the time now i'm using sherwin i really like it and i just want to do some videos about it and different guns i have so but the gun still works good like i said after years and years it still sprays really nice this gun so i use it for sealer and i got another iwata that's newer that i i've been using for sealer too so sometimes i break this one out and try it because you know like i say you always got your favorite guns from years back and it's something you know you just want to keep them around you don't want to put them out the pasture so i still keep it still use it every now and then and uh it's just a good all-around gun you know i want is one of the top guns you can't you know deny it but look how nice of a coat that put on and the guns you know used for years and years and it's pretty wore out but that's the job all cleared I didn't show me painting it. I just wanted to show you the finished product on it. This job came out really nice and clean and flat. So it was a beautiful job. And like I said, it's key to have your sealer flat. So that way from there on out, your, your job is flat.